Hello, and yes, it is another new video, yeah. back to my channel and welcome if you are new here and if you haven't seen my previous video videos before I have been timing myself with a stopwatch to spell out the month with my books and it's really fun and it is now May it is my birthday month and the birthday is next week so hey Anyway, I'm behind on filming this, so I am now getting around to it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into spelling May with your books. And uh, like I said, using your little stoppy watch here. And then at the end, after you find May, you give a description on what those books are about that you chose. So, let's do this! Okay. May. I found M. And I found Y. I need A. 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 I didn't think A would be so hard to find. Ooh. Five seconds. How? But also, May. <laughs> Normally, if you don't have a Y book, it takes longer to find. But luckily, I had one. Well, I have a few, but not many. So, all right. We're gonna start with the very first letter of the month, which is M. And I have found Malice by John Gwynn. So far from what I've read of this one, it is really good. I just need to finish it. But the world is broken. Corbin wants nothing more than to be a warrior under King Vernon's rule to protect and serve. But that day will come all too soon. And the price he pays will be in blood. Evans has sacrificed too much it seems but what he wants the power to rule will soon be in his scraps and nothing will stop him once he has started on his path Verdes, the newest member of the warband of the high prince Nathier he is the, one of the most skilled swordsmen to come out of his homeland Yet he is always under the shadow of his older brother, Nathier, has ideas and a lot of plans. Many of them don't involve his father, the High King of o Oculus, nor does he agree with his father's idea to summon his fellow kings to council. The Banished Lands has a violent past where armies of men and giants clashed in a battle but now giants stir a new stones, weep blood, and there are sightings of a giant worms. Those who can still read the signs see a threat far greater than the ancient wars. For if the black sun gains ecstasy, mankind's hopes and dreams will fall to dust. And it can never be made whole again. If that doesn't sound really good to you, then I don't know what does. But like I said, so far from what I've read of it, I really enjoy it. So, we're going to move on. And for A, I found And I Darken by Christian Wise. I don't know a whole lot about of this book, but I will read what it says on my back to you. Men here either looked right past her at as though she did not exist, or looked so hard that 
she knew they were not seeing her at all. It made her long for a weapon in her hand, for a crown instead of snarled braids, for anything that would make them see her for what and who she was. Or, perhaps, looking at her and seeing nothing, they understood perfectly well who she was already. I have yet to read this book series. I have the first three, so I will get around to it eventually. But I haven't heard a whole lot of people talking about it either. But Kristen White is definitely well known over on booktube, so there's that fun detail. And say the best for last, which is why, and that makes May. And I have You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hoglu, I, I think. <laughs> but when your nemesis also happens to be your fiance, happily ever after becomes a lot more complicated in this wickedly funny lovers to enemies to lovers romantic comedy duet. So, Naomi Westfield has the perfect fiance, Nicholas Rose Holtz. Or Nicholas Rose holds doors open for her, remembers her restaurant orders, and comes home and comes from the kind of upstanding society family and bride would love to be a part of. They never fight. They're preparing for their lavish wedding that's three months away, and she is miserably and utterly sick of him. Nomi wants out, but there. But there's a catch. Whoever ends the engagement will have a will have to foot the non-refundable wedding bill. When Naomi discovers that Nicholas too has been faging consummate, the two of them go head to head in battle of pranks, sabotage, and all out emotional warfare come to pass. Naomi finds her resolve slipping because now that they have nothing to lose, they're finally being themselves and having fun with the last person they expect each other. Um, that sounds really good. Like, I don't have a whole lot of contemporary novels, but this sounds like it could be right up my alley, so... Alright, and there you guys have it. That is my May spelling with books using my stopwatch. So it's kind of fun. So if you want to do the video, I tag you all. So good luck and have fun. <laughs> it's what we need in these tough situations that we have going on right now. So spelling the month out with the books definitely makes it fun. So I will see you guys in a new video soon and yeah i'll see you guys next month for when we spell june all right bye bye